Those footages created by someone who figured out what 99% of Kling users are doing wrong. No fancy equipment, no team, just one person who stumbled onto something that changes everything. I call it the invisible director method. While everyone else is getting plastic looking garbage, a small group of creators found the loopholes, the prompts that flip Kling's brain, the negative commands that kill that AI stench. I track down their techniques, camera controls that make viewers forget they're watching AI, action triggers that punch harder than Marvel's budget, and one compositing move that's, well, let's just say it bends reality. This is what separates content that gets ignored from content that gets devoured. You in? The Kohler's 2.0 Breakthrough. Here's where everything changed. Kling just dropped their upgraded Kohler's 2.0 image model, and it's superior compared to the previous version. We're talking way better prompt adherence and cinematic visuals that'll make your Instagram followers think you hired a Hollywood crew. I tested this out with a cyborg woman prompt, and the results? Chef's kiss. Absolutely stunning. But Colors 2.0 isn't just about better image generation. It's got some serious creative firepower that most people don't even know exists. Want to completely transform your style? The restyle tool can turn any image into whatever style you describe in your prompt. I took a photorealistic image and transformed it into Ghibli anime style. Look at what we got. Watercolor painting style? Easy. Classic cartoon? Piece of cake. Just upload your image, describe the style you want, and watch Kling reimagine your content. But here's where it gets cool, the image editing tool. Head to the home page, select the image editing tab, drop your image in, select the areas you want to change, add your prompt, and hit in paint. The results? Images that look like they came from a completely different universe. Once you've got your killer image, whether it's original or restyled, you can jump straight into the image to video tab. That's where the real magic happens. Camera techniques and presets. Before we dive into the advanced camera tricks, let me show you something most people sleep on. Head over to the Inspiration and Presets tab. Yeah, that little button everyone ignores. We used to get six camera movement options in the previous version, but now with 2.0, you'll find a whopping 12 camera movement options that are basically your cheat codes to professional looking shots. Hover over these camera prompts and boom, you get a preview of exactly what kind of shot you're getting. We're talking camera pans right and tilts down. Camera follows the subject. Camera rotates smoothly around the subject subject, and so on. Here's a real example. I took that cyborg woman image and selected camera follows the subject moving. Then I added cyborg woman is running through a dead storm on Mars into the prompt box. The result? Mind-blowing. The prompt adherence is so good it's almost scary. Perfect timing, realistic speed, and you can actually see dust kicking up from the ground. It's like watching a scene from Blade Runner. The secret sauce, action shot keywords. After testing this thing for weeks, I've cracked the code on creating those heart-pounding action sequences that make people stop scrolling. The magic keywords, source towards the camera, FPV. That's first person view for all you newbies. These little words are your ticket to action action movie greatness. I'm not kidding when I say these keywords deliver complex motion, cinematic style, and consistency that'll make your competition look like they're shooting with a potato. The way Kling handles action is honestly impressive. We're talking professional grade stuff here. But wait, it gets better. You can control the intensity of your shots just by adding or removing these keywords. Let me paint you a picture. Same scene, same character, but the left clip uses high action and high speed, while the right one doesn't. The difference night and day, my friend. Want to take it up another notch? Add shaky to the mix and you'll get action so intense it might make your viewers dizzy. Just be warned, sometimes you might sacrifice a little consistency for that extra punch. But hey, that's the price of greatness, right? Another pro tip that'll save you hours of frustration. If you're going for that epic racing vibe, try the camera raises low and fast tracking combined with the camera shakes and dips with the terrain. The realism is absolutely bonkers. It's like being in the driver's seat of a Formula One car. And speaking of racing, fast zoom to the race car gives you those money shots that look straight out of Fast and Furious. The plastic fix, negative prompting. You know what's the biggest problem with AI video? Those weird, janky, glitchy movements that make your character look like they're having a seizure. It's called negative prompting, and it's the difference between footage that looks broken and footage that flows like, well, actual human movement. The solution? Negative prompting. Add this magic formula to your negative prompt field. Blur. Bad quality, fast movements, unnatural movements, glitchy movement. 
The difference is brutal. We're talking about characters that breathe naturally, change their stance realistically, and move with that organic flow that makes you forget you're watching AI-generated content. It's like having a professional director fine-tune every single frame. Now, fair warning, Kling does take its sweet time to generate. It's probably the biggest downside right now. But here's the thing, when you see the quality of the output, when you see that photorealistic fidelity, you'll understand why it's worth the wait. Good things come to those who wait, right? Precision editing like a pro. This is my all-time favorite topic. Let's talk about the swap function in the multi-elements tab first. It is the core to my secret weapon. I'm not kidding. It feels like I'm giving away the keys to the kingdom here. So I generated this epic scene using this prompt. A powerful woman inspired by the Avengers sprinting through a ruined city street engulfed in chaos. She embodies strength and agility, her hair flowing behind her as she navigates through obstacles like debris and ruins. Flames and smoke rise around her, intensifying the urgency and destruction of the scene. The background and action looked incredible, but the character? She just didn't have that superhero vibe I was going for. Even though I specifically asked for Avengers inspiration, she looked more like a regular person who happened to be running through an apocalypse. That's where my compositing hack comes in. Head over to the multi-elements tab and select the swap function. Here's the play-by-play. -play. Drag your video in, pause it on the first frame, select add selection, and click on your character until it's fully selected. Hit confirm, then drag in your Avengers style woman, preferably with a white or transparent background for best results. Click select subject, confirm, then change the first field to Avengers superhero woman and the second to woman. Hit generate and prepare to have your mind blown. The result? A perfect Avengers style character with stuff crashing down, explosions going off, and consistency that would make Marvel's VFX team jealous. It's like having a million dollar CGI budget in your bedroom. Not all images are created equal for this hack though. The secret sauce is using action shots that match your desired output. In this example, I want a running character, so I use an image of my Avenger woman running. I tested this with a fully flying Avenger style woman and another where her arms were missing. Both results turned out incredible. The AI is smart enough to fill in the gaps and create something that looks completely natural. Can you believe that? The delete function works the same way as swapping, but here's a tip for complex shots. If your character stands behind other people, add more position markers. This guarantees the full character gets removed while perfectly restoring the background. Round. Just use the prompt, delete man from reference video, and watch as the AI cleanly removes the person and fills in the background like they were never there. It's honestly a little creepy how good it is. The add function? Same principle. You can insert anything you want into your video. Want to add another character next to the one that's already there? Piece of cake. We're living in wild times when anyone can create cinematic footage from their bedroom. Kling 2.0 just proved that the barrier between imagination and reality is basically gone. The future of content creation is happening right now. Want to try these amazing AI yourself? All links and resources are awaiting you in the description. If you found this video helpful, please like and and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.